in my list, and this is my list, uh, I think the first is to introduce a package of incentives to solve for the uh, stress on agriculture. Uh, the second would be to restructure uh, the banks to be able to address the NPA issue. And the third would be to continue to push for incentives to stimulate the private sector, particularly in manufacturing. There are some age-old issues like labor reforms and land reforms, uh, but there are also some issues that need to be tackled in addition to these. Um, tax reform, uh, for instance, is something that all of us would really welcome. Uh, as part of that, the GST impl Im implementation would be a huge impetus uh, to the corporate sector. Uh, so I would say that these three would be on top of the list. The Kirana stores offer neighborhood convenience, but they also operate on wafer-thin margins. For them to take electronic payments, even if there is zero charge for taking credit cards or debit cards, is unviable because there will be a charge for the phone connection. There will be a charge for the point-of-sale machine. And so the government really has to think about a package of incentives for merchants to start taking electronic payments. And I think there are many precedents around the world, Korea is a case in point, that uh, we could rely on for learning. But I think that would be the right place to create the pull factor. Historically, um, the measures have been in the area of pricing interventions on the payment sector, the people who provide debit cards and credit cards and sign up merchants. And the watch out over there is that if you take pricing intervention as the route to expand the sector, that in a market which has so much of runway for growth in the long term, should not create a disincentive for the players in the payments industry to invest in the necessary capabilities, the necessary technologies, the customer acquisition that is so necessary to flip cash into electronic payments. The second thing which I think is quite important is the annual in in information return requirement that all banks are supposed to provide to the government, which has a cap of two lakh rupees above which uh, transactions have to be reported. Now, because the process of onboarding a credit card or a debit card necessarily involves a full scrutiny and KYC and the requirement to have a bank account and so forth, um, it's not that you know, people are shy of their data being reported, but it just creates an inconvenience. And I have found, and people have told me this, that it's usually, this data is being, usually, uh, is, is being used to, um, uh, to question uh, people who are working as corporate executives, uh, you know, in the formal sector, uh, where the process of, uh, you know, uh, of income tax payment is, is automatic. So, and, you know, word then spreads around. It just creates a huge amount of inconvenience and, uh, you know, um, uh, distraction. And uh, I think that lifting that ceiling from 2 lakhs, eliminating it preferably altogether, but lifting it from 2 lakhs to a much higher number would greatly enhance individuals' willingness to spend because the ability to spend is there but the willingness to spend